And so we're gonna just chain shot, 999, 999, 999, and there we go. Unlimited money again! Now, it's -a me, Game Jackarino! And today I'm gonna show you how to use Cheat Engine in your favorite Android and iOS games on PC and Mac. As many of you know, by default this doesn't work, but there are some secret settings in Cheat Engine that I'm gonna show you today that make it possible. As always, all the links and tutorials are down in the description below. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and let's get right into it. So what you're going to want to do in Cheat Engine is go to Edit, and then go to Settings in order to get into the settings for Cheat Engine. There, you're going to go to scan settings and you're going to enable the last option under scan the following memory regions, which has something alongside emulator memory slow at the end. So this is a option specifically made for scanning emulators. Enable that. Then you're going to want to go to extra in the cheat engine settings and you're going to want to go and enable all of these. The most important one is this one, read, write, process, memory, but you're going to enable all of these. Now, there are two methods that, if you try them both, allow you to modify values on any emulator out there for Android and iOS. The first method is to simply connect Cheat Engine. By the way, if you don't know how to use Cheat Engine, there's gonna be a link in the description below to a tutorial. You're gonna wanna connect it to the physical memory process. This will allow you to scan your whole physical memory for a certain value. Now you're going to want to set your value type to all in order to search all kinds of values as you don't know exactly what the value is stored as. From there you use Cheat Engine as usual. Again, tutorial in description for those of you who don't know how to use Cheat Engine. The other method, which is quicker because scanning your whole memory, spoiler alert, takes a long time. The other method takes some trial and error, but is generally faster. What you're gonna wanna do is find your process for your emulator, whatever that might be. And there's gonna be some processes alongside that emulator process. What you're gonna wanna do is connect Cheat Engine to one of the processes that is not the main emulator process. So this is LD player, this is the LD player EXE, and these are the other processes. This is the handler process, it's called headless.exe. This is the one we're gonna connect to. But if you don't know for your specific emulator which process it is, just simply try all of them. Try the main one, try all the other ones alongside it. I already did that, so I know the process I'm looking for is this one. It's LD9, it's clearly an LD player EXE, so we're gonna connect to it and we're gonna simply scan for our money value. In this case, I know it's a four byte value, so to save us some time, I'm just gonna scan for it normally and use Cheat Engine as usual. So 275 to narrow down the list. And we have already located our money value. We're gonna just change that to 999999. Unlimited money, as you can see, it works 100%. Unlimited likes on the video! And just to demonstrate that this works for any emulator out there, I'm doing Nox. Now, this is the Nox normal process, the main process, and this is the handler process. I've already done the trial and error. If you don't know which process you need to choose in your specific case, then you just simply try this one and try the other one with the same icon that are also Nox or whatever your emulator's name is, processes. So this is the main Nox process, this is the handler, I'm gonna open the handler and we're gonna do the same thing again, 255 is our current money, again if you don't know how to use Cheat Engine there's a tutorial in the description down below, we're gonna change our money value, we're gonna narrow down the list to 20, next scan, and we have already located our money value in the second emulator. Later. And so we're gonna just change that, 999, 999, 999, and there we go. Unlimited money again! Now, we've done it twice and it works, obviously. Now, this is the latest method. Back in the day, this was not the most efficient way of doing things. Back in the day, the first method that I showed you was more efficient, where you just simply connect to your physical memory. That still works. It's still the first one I recommend you try, but it's gonna take a long time. One scan is not gonna be two or three seconds. It's instead gonna be like a minute, depending on your system, how much stuff is running on your system at that time, and so on. So these are the two methods. Either you scan your physical memory, or you scan all your processes associated with your specific emulator. Of course, this is gonna take some 
common sense to you know figure out which processes belong to your actual emulator just look for the icon that your emulator has and then also the name of course of the process and then generally the processes that have been started chronologically close to that process will be right next to it so in this case this one and this one are both processes that contribute to my emulator so you just trial and error for, try the first one, try the second one, try the third one. If there's more, try those as well. And this will work for 99% of emulators out there, Android, iOS, even console emulators, by the way. Of course, this is only going to work on offline games. As always, if you're going to want to get working cheats in a game that requires the internet, what you're going to want to do instead is Google Game Hacks or Hackabot and go to hackerbot.net. Go to Get Game Hacks, go then to our Hack Finder tool and just enter the name of your game. What kind of cheat you're looking for and ideally for mobile games, especially on Android, you're going to want to have a version number and start downloading the best cheats from the best sources out there for any game, Android, iOS, PC, whatever you want. So Google HackerBot or Game Hacks and go to HackerBot.net. Anyways, guys, that's it. So that's how you use Cheat Engine to modify game values on Android and iOS using emulation and Cheat Engine. Now I'm just going to change this again just to show you guys it's legit. There you go. It changed. Now. Links to the top emulators and all that stuff, the tutorials for Cheat Engine and emulation are going to be down in the description below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Game Jacker out!